Hi, hope you had a great July 4th uh, weekend. It was a long weekend because July 4th fell on a Tuesday, and uh, this will be the week after uh, July 4th. My name is Larry Baker. Thank you for clicking on my blog. I am a certified sommelier, level two, and a senior wine and spirits consultant for ABC Fine Wine and Spirits in the state of Florida. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was a magic spell, if I have to thank Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, but for years and years and years, those of us who drink dry rosé, not the the white Zinfandels that are very sweet, or the white Merlots or whatever, they're, or white pink Moscatos or those kind of wines, not that there's anything wrong with that, but for those of us who appreciated that any red grape could be made into a rosé by leaving less skin contact, whatever happened, it's the craze in America so much that if you are on Twitter, if you're on Instagram, I want you to follow this hashtag, hashtag Pink Society. It's a group of all of us, and we are strong. We are drinking pink. We are thinking pink. And I wanted to show you a few examples that it's not just a pink rosé from Provence, although those are great, that you can get Provence in the south of France or Bandol in the south of France. Uh, those are very common, but pretty much there is a million ways to join and be a member of the Pink Society. I think I'm surrounded by a little bit here as we quickly, I mean, there's pink all over the place here. Oh, this label has to turn around. Not very good prep, whoever my prop, oh, I am my own prop people, but there's just pink everywhere. And I want to talk about so many different ways that you can do it. For instance, this is from the south of France. And this is a 100% Malbec, but with less skin contact. So it's a Malbec rosé, absolutely delicious. $8.99 a bottle at ABC. Direct to you product, you can only get it at ABC. Fine wines and spirits, George Vigereau is involved in the product. Numero du to become a member of the Pink Society. Cote de Rhone, when we mention Cote de Rhone, we always think about the, the south of France and those red wines. Well, Rastau, you can have rosé, you can have Cote de Rhone white, Cote de Rhone red, and of course with less skin contact, you've got Cote de Rhone rosé, think pink, and it's delicious, refreshing, and grapes like Grenache and Syrah, Movedre used in that area. <clears throat> Even South Africa is getting into the game, Graham Beck. Gorgeous is a good way to describe this little wine that is a rosé of Pinot Noir and some Chardonnay using the skins of the Pinot Noir to make a rosé. All affordable, drink pink. It's like growing. It's like growing the popularity of pink. Thank you to the, to the Pink Society gods who ever got people to drink white wine. We've talked about this one many times. It's still one of my favorites. From husband and wife, Stuart Bodecker and Athena Papas. Papas, Papas, <laughs> it's 100% organic, sustainably farmed, 100% uh, Pinot Noir Rosé from Malamed Valley, Oregon, $14.99. I keep it in my cold box for you to take a bottle home cold. So that is really great. Bodecker, Cellars, Rosé, still surrounded. We haven't stopped. The game has just begun. Um, one of my favorite ones to talk about is from Calabria, from Ippolito, Ippolito 1845, uh, great family down in Calabria in the Ciro, C-I-R-O region of uh, Italy. This is Gagliapo, which is the grape that makes the famous red Ciro. Uh, this is a rosé of Ciro. Iodine, minerals, watermelon, cherry, strawberry, unbelievable. Another great rosé, 12 bucks, 12.99 at an ABC Fine Wine and Spirits near you. Napa Valley getting into the game, a Cabernet Sauvignon rosé from Lake County, California. High Valley, a little darker, Cabernet's a little thicker skin, but yes, necessarily, it qualifies to be a member of the Pink Society drink rosé. Bubbles. I wanted to bring some interesting bubbles from New Mexico. I really like they're making it in the method champenois, the method of champenois, which is the method of champagne, double fermentation in the bottle. This is Gruet, and this is their Brut Rosé, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay in New Mexico, in New Mexico, a delicious, delicious pop the cork bubbles rosé. But it's a rosé, and yes, different. Whoa, that, might, that was too close on my face. 
my good friend Fabiano Giorgi in Stradella in the Provincia de Pavia. Uh, Giorgi is known for his sparkling wines. This is extra dry, slightly little off dry sparkling wine. Uh, it's Charmat method, it's not method champenois, but a beautiful bottle of pink platino because it's a little platinum bottle, but it is an a very, very refreshing sit by the pool and a cool bottle. And if you don't like them, just line them all up and play bowling. Wow, look at my reflection. That's cool. I got to get more of that. Look at that. You can see me with my phone in the reflection. If I had hair, I'd comb it. But that's a delicious pink rosé. And finally, just touching the bus, this is a rosé, rosé from uh, Aziando Colalto and Princess Isabella Colalto. This is very, very interesting, extra dry form, Charmat method, but the grape that is used was invented. It was a clone of Moscato, uh, invented by Professor Luigi Manzoni. And it's called the Manzoni Moscato grape. Don't let Moscato scare you. It is not sweet. It's a little off dry. If I tell you this is one of the most refreshing rosé, $17.99, available cold, Manzoni grape. Try. I went to my local supermarket. I asked for the Manzoni grape, and they gave me a box of Ronzoni pasta. Not Ronzoni. It's not the Zamboni that cleans the ice at hockey game. It's Manzoni. So as you can see, we can line them up all again. But there's many ways to think pink. Uh, and of course, in the south of France, when I turn my back behind me, you can see Provence is just loaded with rosé, even when we curve the corner. Rosés, we still got some rosés from Tavel, Cote de Rhone. Uh, it's just endless, endless, endless. And everybody's getting in the game. So join the Pink Society. Drink more pink. It's popular and there's a reason. It's the most versatile category of wine that is uh, available. I don't know a food that doesn't go with rosé. I really want you to try this Manzoni Moscato grape from Colalto because that is very unique as a lot of the wines I showed you. Join the craze. I hope it lasts forever because the Pink Society is not going to stop. We are marching strong. And remember to use that hashtag on Twitter, Instagram, and of course on my blog. And uh, thank you for joining me again. And drink more pink. I do every day. Um, it's refreshing. It goes well, especially if you're in a hot climate. But I drink it all year long. Uh, and uh, remember, if you follow my blog, you get a thank you with my personal cell phone number that you can contact me 24-7 for any questions you might have uh, regarding wine, wherever you are, all 50 states, including Canada and Mexico, even if you're not at an ABC, any recommendations, any questions about what pink wines would qualify you to be a member of the Pink Society. Or if you're in Florida, check us out at www.abcfws.com. Uh, www.abcfws.com and you can order online and check out some descriptions of some of these great rosés or other wines you might be interested in and or stop in in Florida at one of your local ABC Fine Wines and Spirits and talk to your wine and spirit specialist for a recommendation and tell them I have taken the pledge Larry the Wine Guy has made me a member, an honorary member of the Pink Society. Show me some rosé. And until I see you next time, have yourself a great day and think pink and drink pink. Thank you.